in this video we are going to discuss about OSPF multi area configuration ok let me go for the topology diagram so I am going to make a very simple topology diagram only ok you can see so I am going to use 4 routers 1 2 3 4 so 4 routers I am having then I am going to have 2 PCs this is 1 and this is 2 ok so totally we are having uh, 4 PCs sorry sir 2 PCs and 4 now let me connect all the devices I am going to connect the devices so router to router serial connections and this is and here and router to PC and PC to this so this is the way we are going to connect it ok mm -hmm. if you see the network totally how many networks available means this is ok network 1 yeah 5 networks yes first network second network third network fourth network fifth network so totally there are 5 different networks available ok now let me change the IP address ok let me instead of using class K IP address you can use a different IP address ok class C IP address you can use it and you can see how to do the configuration ok now so let me go for ok 192 ok 192 addresses that means class C IP address I am going to use ok let me write it here 192 168 1 dot ok 1.0 this is my first network then the next one is 192 okay one because in exams they will give like this they will not give the direct IP address that means simple IP address class A so they may give class B class E also so you must know how to handle that so this is the second network then 192 168 3.0 this is the third network 192 168 ok 4.0 so this is the fourth network 192 168 5.0 this is the fifth network so totally we need five networks ok now so the first network so here this one I am going to make it 192 168 1.0 ok network write it network then next one so this network I am going to have it as 192, 168 ok so 2.0 then this network 192 ok 192, 168 ok 168, 3.0 this network then this is the fourth network so here I am going to have 192, 168, 4.0 0 then this network the last network I am going to have 192 168 5.0 so these are the networks we are going to have then fix the IP address fix the IP address now I go to the PC 0 for PC 0 I need 192 168 ok 1.1 1 .1. this is the IP address for my PC and then for this router this will be fast ethernet 0 by 0 so now I am going to have 192 168 ok 1.2 is IP address I am going to fix it here then for this router ok serial interface 192 168 2.1 ok that is IP address and this place I am going to give the IP address 192 168 ok so 2.2 that is IP address I want to fix then here I want to give 192 168 3.1 that is IP address then here 192 168 ok so 3.2 this is IP address we are going to fix then 192 168 ok 4.1 ok that is IP address I am going to give here and this place 192 168 ok 
192 is IP address. Take here 192, 168, 5.2. Let me give 5.2 because for the end I will give 5.1. So this is 192, 168, okay, 5.1. So this is our IP plan, okay, this is our IP plan. Then we are going to have three different areas we are going to have, areas. In the previous lab, we had only one area, okay, we had only one area that is area 0. But now I am going to have three areas, that means area 0, area 1 and area 2. So, three areas I am going to have. So, this is called multi area configuration. Okay. Now, very important point I am telling. You can have any number of areas. Okay. You can have any number of areas, but all these areas must be connected with area 0. This is a very, very important point. I repeat the point. You can have any number of areas. Okay. There is a limit available. No problem. You can have any number of areas but your areas should be connected, all the areas must be connected with area 0. Okay. So, now three areas we are going to have. Okay. What are the areas? Now, I am going to divide this area. In exam, they will give this area to you. Okay. Now, from this place to this place, okay. look at the screen carefully. So, this is I am going to make it as area 1, oh, sorry area 0. Then from this router to this router, okay, from here to here, I am going to make, okay, area 2 or area 1, anything. Then, okay, from this to this, okay, this is completely, this is, I am going to make it, okay, area 1, sorry, area, this is area 0, area 1, area 2, we can change the name, no problem in that, okay, I just, wait. I put a small circle, let me just delete it. Now, so this particular part, I am going to make it as one area. So, totally three areas we are going to have. Okay. Now, the middle one, what is the rule I told? Every area must be connected to 0. So, I make this as area 0. So, these areas in exam they will give it to you, okay. You no need to worry about it. So, this they will mark, okay. This is area 0, this is area 1, like that they will give. So, this is area 0. Then, so this side I am going to make it area 1. So, this is I am going to make it area 1, okay. And for this, okay, I am going to make it area 2, okay, area 2. So, this is multi area concept this is multi area concept ok. So, we fixed everything now the next stage is fixing the IP address ok. Let me write it here there are three areas available then process ID. So, you need a process ID ok you need the router ID the same concepts will be available. So, we no need to worry about it ok we can have. So, process ID let it me PROCESS process ID, I am going to make it as 1, then router ID. So, router ID, I am going to make it, okay, we already discussed this in the last, I make it 1.1.1.1, .1 .1 .1 .1. then 2.2.2.2, 3.3.3.3. So, this is my router ID, okay. So, now I am going for each and every router you can start and you can configure, you can do the configuration. Now, I am going for the PC, PC 0, I am going for the desktop, are you with me? A anybody please confirm, are you listening? Okay. Now, I am going for a P first PC, PC 0, IP configuration 192, 168, 1.1, this is the IP address, subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 0, very good. So, default configuration, okay, this is a default gateway, 192, 168, 1.2, okay, this is the default gateway. So, now we completed the IP configuration for this PC, okay, I completed. Now, let me go to this PC. 
So, desktop IP configuration you can give the IP address. So, what is the IP address here means? So, the IP address I am going to give, okay, you can see the IP address because already we, we have written here. This is a easy method, okay, 192, 168, okay, so 5.1, 168, 5.1 is IP address, 255, 255, 255, 0, then the default gateway is 192, 168, 5.2 is the default gateway, okay, so this is the default gateway. So, for both the PC, we fix the IP address. So, IP address is over. Now, I am going for the router. So, before going for the router, please note down the interface. The name of the interface is very important. So, this is fast Ethernet 0 by 0. Okay, let me write it here. So, this is fast Ethernet 0 by 0 and this interface, it is serial 2 by 0. There is no clock rate. Okay. So, let me just make a note here. So, I have fast Ethernet 0 by 0, fast Ethernet, okay, FE 0 by 0 and I think this is serial 2 by 0, let me check it again. Now you can just keep your mouse here, so it will show the name of the interface serial 2 by 0, there is no clock rate, so this is the IP address, okay. Now I go to the router, I am going to the CLI command line interface, no, enable config terminal okay config terminal i am going to fix the ip address okay so you have to go to the interface interface fast ethernet okay ethernet 0 by 0 okay fast ethernet 0 by 0 so now ip address so what is ip address means you can see the ip address so, this is 192, 168, 1.2 is IP address. So, 192, 168.1.2 is IP address. You have to be very careful because this is class C IP address. The subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. If you give anything wrong here, okay, if you, if you give the Okay, that means the IP address, sorry, not IP address, subnet mask, if you do anything wrong, it will accept, but it will be considered as a another network, different network. So, you have to be very careful here. So, I fix this IP address, then I am giving no shutdown, okay, no shutdown command. So, we completed for this interface, we fix the IP address. Now, let me go to this interface, okay, this is the next interface. So, I just give exit now, I am going for the next interface, interface serial, okay, interface serial 2 by 0, okay, we already noted here 2 by 0, okay. Now, I want to fix the IP address, IP address, so 192, 168, okay, 2.1, okay, 2.1 is IP address, 255. dot 255.255.0. This is IP address. There is no need to clock, okay. This is not a DCEN, so no need to fix the clock rate. You can directly go for no shutdown command. No shutdown command. So now we have done the configuration for the first router. Only IP configuration we have done. That means IP address we fixed. We have not done any OSPF. Now go to the next router. Before that, please note down. So, here I am having an interface serial, okay, 3 by 0, 3 by 0 clock rate, okay, just make a now note, that will be always easy, serial 3 by 0 with clock rate we have to give, so the IP address is going to be, this is the IP address, so I am not going to write the IP address, okay, we can check it later. Now, this side, it is serial 2 by 0 clock rate, so serial 2 by 0 clock rate. So, you have to make a note like this. If you make a note, things will become easy. Now, let me go to the router. I am going to the command CLI, command line interface. Now, enable, enable config terminal. Now, I am going for the interface, interface serial 
3 by 0 ok 3 by 0 so now IP address so what is the IP address means 192 168 ok 2.2 .2 is the IP address ok this is the IP address we have to give so 2.2 .2, 255.255.255.255 0. Now clock rate. So clock rate. So 64,000 is the default clock rate. Now you can give the command no shutdown. If you give this command no shutdown, you have to okay see this should be green. It should be turned to green. Yes, that means you are right. Then I am giving exit. Go to the next interface. Okay, just go to the next interface, interface serial 2 by 0, okay, serial 2 by 0, okay, spelling mistake, okay, I used to do the mistake again and again, serial 2 by 0. Now, IP address, so the IP address, you can see the IP address here, this is 192.168.3.1. Okay, so 192, 168, 3.1 is IP address. So 255.255.255.0. Okay, that is a subnet mask. And here we have to give the clock rate 64000. Then I am giving no shutdown. Okay, no shutdown command. So we fix the IP address for both the interfaces we fixed. Okay. Now let me close router 0. I am going for the next router. Please note down the interface serial 2 by 0. Okay. I write it in the paper. Okay. Serial 2 by 0. Then this side it is going to be serial 3 by 0 clock rate. Serial 3 by 0 with clock rate. Okay. Now I am just going to this router. CLI enable config terminal config terminal now I am going for the interface the first one is serial 2 by 0 I already noted so serial 2 by 0 IP address so what is IP address means you can see 192.168.3.2 so 192, 168, okay. So 3.2 is IP address. Subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. Okay, there is no clock rate here, no shutdown. Okay, no shutdown. Then you can give exit. Then I am going for the next interface, interface serial. Okay, interface serial ok serial 3 by 0 ok I already noted it 3 by 0 IP address so what is IP address means you can see 192 168 4.1 so 192 168 ok 4.1 is IP address 255 255 255 0 ok so this is the subnet mask so we have the clock rate here, ok, clock rate here, so clock rate 6400 clock rate, then you can give the command no shutdown. So we fix the IP address for this place, now we have to go for the last router, ok. So in the last router, this is going to be fast Ethernet 0 by 0, ok. So this place, it is serial 2 by 0, ok, no clock rate. So directly I can go and do it. So serial 2 by 0, ok, no shutdown, sorry, no, enable config terminal. Now I want to go to the interface, interface serial 2 by 0. IP address ok IP address so what is IP address means you can see the IP address 192.168.5.2 ok 192.168.5.2 192.168.5.2 192.168.5.2 192.168.5.2 192.168.5.2 192.168.5.2 
192, 168, okay, 5.2 is the IP address. So, subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. So, here there is no clock rate, okay, directly you can go for no shutdown, okay. So, then just exit go to the next interface interface fast okay interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address so this is 192 5.2 okay i think i changed the ip address i gave wrong ip address i think here we have to give 4.2 but I gave 5.2 ok I will change it no problem so I am giving ok this is this is a mistake if you do even small mistake then problem so 192 168 5.2 is IP address ok you will get the error now let me check it it is showing error or not yes overlap you can see it is overlapping already you use this IP address so we have to remove the IP address this is actually this is a good thing ok this is a good thing you can learn how to remove the IP address ok all of you look at the screen now I just give exit now I am going for the interface I n interface are you with me can anyone please confirm are you listening yes now I go to serial ok I am going to serial 2 by 0 and I am going to remove the IP address so interface serial 2 by 0 ok serial 2 by 0 serial 2 by 0 I am going to remove the IP address how to remove the IP address ok what is the command means you can see the command no ok no IP address ok no IP address so what is the IP address we gave here means so we gave the IP address 192 5.2 so 192 168 ok 5.2 5.2 ok subnet mask 255.255.255.0 so I am going to remove the IP address same command I use the word no ok now I want to fix the IP address IP address 192.168.4.2 is IP address actually 4.2 I have to give instead of 4.2 I gave 5.2 ok so now 4.2 ok 255.255.255.0 ok so now I am just giving uh, no shutdown, it is already no shutdown is there, no problem if you want you can give no shutdown then exit ok. So I am going for the fast ethernet now interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 IP address 192 168 ok 192 168 5.2 5.2 is IP address 255.255.255.0 now you can give no shutdown so if you give no shutdown ok you can see everything it is now turned to green that means your IP configuration is now completed ok IP address configuration is completed ok so now what we have done we just configured the IP address so the IP address is completely finished now we have to go to the routers and we have to configure the OSPF protocol ok the OSPF protocol we have to configure this is going to be the next step now let me go to the router router 1 ok or this router the first router I am taking ok to my left now I am going for the enable the same commands only only that area is going to change enable config terminal ok config terminal 
okay config terminal then router router ospf okay router ospf so you have to give the process id so what is the process id we decided in the beginning means we decided the process id as 1 so i am giving the process id 1 okay enter so this is nothing new for us we have already done this okay so i am taking the ospf process id 1 then the next one is we have to fix the router id okay now i am going to give this router router id okay so what is the router id i am going to give means I am going to give 1.1.1.1 is the router ID I am going to give for this particular router. Okay, so every router I am going to give 1.1.1.1, 2.2.2.2, okay, 3, 4, like that we can go. So this is 1.1.1.1 is the router ID I am giving. Then the next one is okay, we, we are now inside the OSPF protocol. Okay, we are inside the okay OSPF protocol now we have to mention the networks okay what are the networks now you can see network network so what are the networks directly connected here okay so the network first network is 192 168 okay 1.1 1 .1 is the network okay 1.1 .1 is the network now we have to <coughs> we have to give the wildcard mask we have to give okay we have to give the wildcard mask so wildcard mask what is the wildcard mask means which is opposite to your subnet mask now here the wildcard mask is going to be 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 because this is class c for class c 255 255 255 0 okay that is going to be your subnet mask so opposite to the subnet mask is the wildcard mask so 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 then you can have the area okay area i'm giving a question mark here okay i'm giving a question mark why means you must know how many areas you can have okay how many areas you can have okay to show that i'm giving see how many areas you can have means from 0 to 42949672952 this many number of areas you can have but here we are going to have only three areas okay three areas only we are going to say so this is going to be area 1 for me i am just giving area 1 okay area 1 so the first network is okay i just added the first network okay in the ospf now i am going for the second network okay what is the second network 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 192.168. dot okay you can see this is the second network directly connected 2 so 2.0 this is the second network okay i gave 1 here this should be 0 okay let us see now i am giving 0 this is the second network 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.255 255 okay area so the area is going to be 1 okay i remove this line okay i'm going to remove this line okay how to remove the line i'm giving no network 192 168 okay it is 1 dot 0 but i gave 1 dot 1 so i remove that okay 255 so area 1 i'm just removing remove that line i'm going to add again network network 192 168 okay 1.0 okay we have to give only the network id okay network id only we have to give then 0 .0 .0 0.0.255 okay 255 area 1 okay so this is we have to do it only two networks we have to add then this fast ethernet 0 by 0 you can make it as a passive interface so now the next command is passive passive interface interface fast ethernet okay fast ethernet 0 by 0 okay 
that's it now we completed all the configurations okay in the first router so the first router is completely ready now let me go to the second router i am going for the second router this router i just click here now enable okay enable okay enable config terminal config terminal okay now we have to enable the routing protocol so router ospf okay router ospf so what is the process id means we use the process id as 1 then for this router i want to fix the router id so now i am giving the router id 2.2.2.2 okay i fix the router id then we have two networks connected here we don't have the passive interface here we no need to give any passive interface here so we have to give okay we have to give only that particular networks okay two part, okay particular networks only we have to give just one minute Now, so this is the router ID 2.2.2.2. Okay, now I am going for the network. So, network, so do it very carefully. Okay, network. So, two networks directly connected here. Okay, this network is 192.168.2.0. So, 192.168.2.0 is the network. So, what is the wildcard mask means 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 255 this is the wildcard mask and this is available in area 1 okay i am giving area 1 okay this is we have to be go step by step okay you have to go very slowly step by step you have to go then they started communicating now okay they started communicating now you can see now the next one is i am going for the next network 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 this is 192.168.3.0 okay so 192.168.3.0 this is the next network so here 0.0.0.255 this is the uh, what is that this is the wildcard mask now this is going to be in area 0 so we are giving area 0 so do it very carefully okay any mistakes yes 10 is missing okay see network network 192 168 okay 3.0 i put 30 3.0 okay 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 area 0 okay area 0 so now you no need to make any passive interface here okay because there is no fast ethernet we no need to make anything as the passive interface so you can go for the next one now i completed the second router so i am going for the next router okay i am going for the third router so the third router is i am just closing this i am going for the third router okay now you can see enable config terminal okay config terminal router ospf so we use the process id as 1 then okay uh, spelling mistake router ospf process id is 1 then for this router i am going to fix the router id okay router id i am going to fix it as 3.3.3.3 .3 then i am going for the network now so network here also there are two networks connected directly okay you can see here this side one network and this side another network so network 192.168.3.3 dot 
3.0 okay 3.0 this is the network directly connected and what is the wildcard mask means 0.0.0.255 this is the wildcard mask and this is available in area 0 okay this is available in area 0 then the next network network so this side okay they started now communicating okay you can see the communication started so this side we have 192.168.4.0 so network 192.168 okay 4.0 okay this is the network available here and for this 0.0.0.255 so this is the wildcard mask and this is available in the area 2 okay this is available in area number 2 ok so this is completed so here we do not have any uh, interface fast ethernet ok we do not have no need to make any passive interface ok now I am just going to close this router go to the next router so in this router enable config terminal ok router OSPF process id is 1 then router id so for this router i am giving 4.4.4.4 i am giving then we have two networks directly connected here ok so what is the first network means you can see network 192 4.0 this is the network directly connected okay so for this wildcard mask is 0.0.0.255 .0 is the wildcard mask and this is available in area number 2 area 2 okay so this is available in area 2 okay now i just completed next network 192 okay they started communication okay you can type the command again network so the next network is 192.168.5.0 this is the wildcard mask then this is also going to be in area 2 okay because they are in the same area now we configured all the routers we configured then this fast ethernet 0 by 0 you can make it into passive interface so passive interface interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ok completed so our configuration is over now how you can make it ok it is correct or not means go and see the routing table okay if you see the routing table all the five networks should be available if all the five networks are available then your topology is correct okay now let me go to any router okay i will just go to this router router 2 i am going to display the routing table show ip route so you can see this okay look at the screen carefully so 192 168 1 dot okay 1 2 3 4 5 all the 5 networks 5 or 6 totally how many networks 1 2 3 4 5 yes all the 5 networks available in this so we have successfully completed ok you can see the routing table c c c this is directly connected ok this is directly connected then we are getting another o o o so o means this is going to be the ospf OSPF then I have something called IA 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 what is this IA means they are from different area ok you can see that is called ok you can see the word IA yeah OSPF inter area ok inter area ok that means 3 dot ok 3 is in different area 4 is in different area 5 is in different area yes ok you can see 192.168.3 is another area 4 is another area, 5 is another area. So, IA stands for okay, inter area. So, these are all from different areas available. 
but the OSPF protocol they are communicating with each other. Okay, you can see 110, this is the administrative distance value, 128, 192, okay, this is called the cost, COST, we can discuss this in the theory part. So, this is how, okay, your uh, routing table is now constructed. Go to the next one, I will just take this router, I want to see the routing table, okay, I want to see the routing table. Okay, display the routing table, show IP route. So, if you give show IP route, you can see there are 5 networks, 192.168.1.2.3.4.5, very good. So, 2 are directly connected, then remaining things coming from the OS, okay, 2 different areas we are communicating. Okay, now if you give the ping command from PC0 to PC1, you must get the reply. Okay, now I go to the simulation edit filters, okay, go to the edit filter, you take only the OS, sorry, what is that, only you can take the ICMP, now you can see, just click the PC0 to PC1, so first time, because of the ERP protocol, you may not get the reply, but second time, you will get the reply. So, just delete it, delete and give it again, ok. So, give the ping command again. So, you can see, suppose if second time it is not working, then problem. Then there is some serious problem available in the topology diagram. First time it is because of the ERP protocol, it is finding the MAC address. 